Hello, and this is Origami Cranes, Assignment 1 for Interface Analysis. Today we are going to be looking into Windows Explorer and the effectiveness this is towards the novice user and how it has been developed for the different versions of Windows. We currently estimate that Microsoft holds 84% of the operating system market share. Um, this is something we found particularly interesting because the Explorer interface is used by millions and millions of people every day and they will not even know they are using it. Windows Explorer has over 200 different commands and numerous ways of carrying out each command. This is why, as a group, we decided to talk about the usability of Explorer and compare the improvements most of us made through a simple demonstration. As we have already mentioned, Windows Explorer contains over 200 commands, but our research has shown there are only 7 commands that count for around 72% of total command usage. Not surprisingly, these mostly consist of basic file management, we will be talking about the usability of each interface and how user-friendly Explorer is for novice users. As we only have a short amount of time, we will be concentrating on the top five commands Paste, Copy, Delete, Rename and Properties. We have decided to choose four operating systems to compare. We're starting with Windows 95, then moving through 98, and then we're looking at newer versions of Windows, starting with 7 and finishing with Windows 8. We have decided to pick Windows 95 as it was the first version to include Windows Explorer. Next, we chose Windows 98 as it included extra functionality such as the command bar with icons and text. We then moved Windows 7 as it is Microsoft's current operating system. Finally, we chose to look at Windows 8 which is currently under development. This incorporates a new ribbon of commands previously seen in Microsoft Office and Microsoft Paint. We are starting with Windows 95. As you can see, it is fairly basic with all the commands hidden away in the menu bar. To get the commands, we have to look through each menu using the mouse until we find what we are looking for. We can also use the keyboard to access these menus by pressing Alt and the letter that is underlined. The copy and paste file commands are in Edit and Properties, Delete and Rename are in file and these can be accessed by right clicking and using the context menu. All of the commands we are looking at can be accessed using keyboard shortcuts. We personally feel comfortable using this as we have been using computers and these commands for a long time. However, we don't think this interface is appropriate for novice users. As you can see, the interface is minimal and gives the user very little information. We know from seminar discussions and our own research that novice users don't like to look for things and the command should be there in front of them ready. This interface could also be very confusing for a novice user as there is no indication to where they are in the Explorer. To make things worse for them, every time you go down through the hierarchy, a new window opens meaning the user could find themselves filling the screen very quickly with windows as they head deeper into their filing system. Windows 95 also includes an Explore version of Explorer. This includes a tree sidebar of files and folders on your computer and we will refer back to this later. The next version of Windows is 98 as you can see, it has more going on in the Explorer window than compared to Windows 95. It has a new command bar that is underneath the menu bar. This makes some of the most used commands easier to find and easily accessible with one click of the mouse. While the context menu and keyboard shortcuts are still there, users using a mouse now have a fourth way of copying and pasting files. For novice users, this is a good thing. It gives the user an easier way of accessing commands and incorporates both icons and text similar to the way Microsoft Office and Works uses in, this, in programs of this era. This leads to fluidity and consistency between programs. This means a user only has to learn one set of commands and use them in other applications and ways. The, this interface is better than ni Windows 95 as it includes a sidebar as well as, as well as an address bar. This gives the user useful information 
as to where the user is and information such as date, last modified and size. The address bar gives the user vital information as to where they are in their file system, just as DOS did and allows easy access and management of files and folders. Also an improvement is when you go down through the hierarchy it opens in the old window and not a new window. Experienced users can remove the functionality if they feel it is too cluttered or do not use the new command bar. Windows 98 also incorporates the explore version of Explorer, this time with the command and address bar. Okay, so this is Windows 7. Uh, you might have noticed something rather interesting. In Windows 95 and 98, we showed you the explore window view of Explorer. Uh, starting in Windows Vista, this view became default for Explorer with the tree view sidebar. This sidebar gives the user quick navigation to different folders on their hard drive without using the address bar, e.g. documents or downloads. Also, the command bar has been changed. Instead of having copy, paste and properties under the address bar as in Windows 98, they have been moved to under the organize submenu. Menu. The address bar has a breadcrumb menu on it where a user can just click once to get several different options and go to various locations on their hard drive. Uh, this is excellent for navigation for novice users as they don't have to remember the whole entire link. At the bottom of the window we can see a small details pane uh, which consists of several bits of information about the file that we have currently highlighted. Uh, this is similar to how the sidebar looked in Windows 98. We can still access some of the features used in previous versions, for example the menu bar by pressing Alt. It still works in exactly the same way. You can still use keyboard commands to access everything, copy and paste, and we can also right click and access all of the same commands. And finally onto Windows 8. There is now a ribbon bar which has moved the menu and command bar into the same ribbon interface. The file and view is still there, but now the edit and the uh, command bar has now been merged all into this home tab. You can copy, paste, delete, all easily and simply with this bar. There is icons and text to make it more simple for users and it can be minimized for the user who does not need this functionality. The breadcrumb bar is still there at the top where you can click and go to a different folder. So is this sidebar with tree on it if you want to get to a different folder. The right click context menu is still there along with keyboard shortcuts like control C and V for copy and paste. Also you can do keyboard shortcuts with the ALT key as you could in Windows 95 still. Although it is now more visual and you can tell exactly what you're doing. The details pane has now been removed by default although it is still there. However for most users the status bar at the bottom is good enough as it tells you the size and how many of you selected. In conclusion, we believe that Windows 98 and Windows 8 are the best for novice users. This is because they both have improved navigation over previous versions and have single click buttons with icons and text for more frequently used tasks. Microsoft are developing Windows with users in mind. We know this as their research shows the majority of users use context menu and shortcuts. However, they are trying to appeal to the novice user by continuing to develop the command or ribbon menu whilst keeping the older methods.